What's up? Hi. So you want to know whether Codem Bootcamp grads get jobs or not after they're done? Well, the short answer is yes and no. <laughs> I know, very helpful. But let me tell you why. I'm a senior developer working at a big Silicon Valley tech company and I've been doing professional development for like six years now. I can tell you that yes, absolutely coding bootcamp grass can find jobs. When I worked at a uh, big corporation about two years ago, there were actually five devs on my team alone that came from the Hack Reactor Coding Bootcamp. Also, I've been mentoring a girl that lives in Houston, Texas. She's a massage therapist um, and she's been going through a coding bootcamp and it's wrapping up soon and she already has about two job offers on the table waiting for her. Now, on the other hand, I've also met folks uh, that after a year or two still cannot manage to gain any traction and find any jobs. What I've learned and known all along, right, from the ones who get jobs and don't, is you have to network and market yourself. Matter of fact, as soon as you sign up for Coding Bootcamp, you have to prioritize networking and marketing right up there with learning. You see, when you sign up for these coding boot camps, what you're really paying for is you're paying for the time and the network. When it comes to time, you're actually paying to shorten the learning curve, you know, versus, you know, you learning the code on your own. But a lot of people don't realize that you're also paying for the network of teachers, uh, instructors, advisors, uh, professionals, and local jobs within the area that are associated with the coding bootcamp. You see, you cannot go into coding bootcamp with the mindset of, say, high school. You know, like pretty much like hand holding. And as for marketing, uh, this is just a given. Like, you have to focus on having a nice looking portfolio right deployed meaning it's live on the web has a URL you can share it, you can pass that URL around and this portfolio should ideally have links right or demos of basically things that you worked on and I think this is actually the most important thing you have to focus on developing your relationships with your um, instructors because more than likely your instructors are going to be the bridge between you and potential new jobs out there matter of fact your instructors might even recommend um, jobs within their own company to you because most of these instructors you know they're just they have full-time jobs as well they're just doing this part-time and that is exactly uh, what I told the girl that I was telling you about in Houston. I told her from the jump, as soon as she started coding bootcamp, I told her, you know, yes, you need to stay on top of learning how to code. But also, you need to also be aggressive, well, aggressively slow uh, with building um, your relationship with your instructors, meaning you need to paint a good story of you for your instructor. Next thing you know, the instructor saw her progress, you know, saw that she knew nothing in the beginning, and now she kind of basically run her class. Uh, now, like, he offered her a position, and if things, you know, keep going the way they are, this is basically in the bag for her. I'm going to also add that she wasn't a rock star when she started out. Basically, she didn't, she didn't even know what the command line was. But she got her stuff together and, you know, used all of her available resources to get better. But also at the same time, she uh, was able to kind of like paint this hero arc story for the instructor, you know, so that basically he can remember her more. Right. And now she's like one of the top performers, you know, in her class and all of the instructors like know her. To wrap this up, prioritize networking and building relationships with your instructors. Don't be passive about it. You need to be proactive and also aggressive early on.
Even people who went to four-year degree colleges struggle to find jobs after college. A lot of college grads don't even find jobs, you know. That's why a lot of them go back to get their master's degree or they just settle for, you know, the subpar job that they're, you know, more than qualified for. You need to hustle on marketing yourself, okay? Do not expect any hand-holding. If you're thinking about going to coding bootcamp, uh, I also made another video where I basically give some warnings, you know, before you enroll, uh, making sure that you have kind of like the right mindset going into coding bootcamp or else you'll quit. Oh, and also, uh, if you haven't checked it out, uh, I made a little, you know, nifty calculator tutorial, um, covers HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, you know, so check it out.